All right, so we learned about uh, Modrion and his abstract squares and rectangles, and so we're gonna make our own Modrion-inspired art. We have a whole bunch of squares, uh, colored squares in the primary colors, and we are going to glue down three, one of each color to start with. Then you can add up to three more, which is a total of six, but they don't have to be the big squares. You can fold them in half and make a rectangle. Cut that rectangle, and you can have a rectangle. Make sure when you glue these on, you are gluing them on straight and not diagonal. That will be important later when we put on our black lines. If you fold a rectangle in half, you get a square. And now we have small squares. I'm going to put my small square there. Now let's see here. How many do I have here? Um, I'm going to make one more. I'm going to fold a square to make a rectangle. And then fold a rectangle to make a square. And then I've got my little yellow square here. I'm just going to glue it down right there. Now it's time to put your lines on. So we've got these big, um, thick lines. They're cut at one inch. And they will fit all the way across your paper just like that. You need to anchor or touch your square with at least one black line. So every color should be touching at least one black line. But these black lines don't need to be this thick. You can cut them skinny up the middle and put on skinnier black lines. Now, your black lines can also touch in two different places, or three or even four sides, but they can't hang off the edge, so cut that off. You can use your scraps, and you can put more black lines to anchor more of your artwork. One of the ways um, to think about this is think of the black lines like streets and the colored blocks like buildings, and you have to get your uh, street to one of your buildings. So there has to be at least one road to each of your buildings. And how you want to get them there, that's fine. A lot of people thought of Modrion's artwork a lot like buildings and streets. And you can think of it that way too. Or you can just think of it as beautiful patterns, which is also a great way to think about Modrion artwork. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up and um, then you will be able to see how I've done mine and you can make your own.